Hello, Classic Boaters. Uh, my name's Don Ayers, and uh, what I'm gonna attempt to do is try to help some people along with how to build up what is in the picture, which is a flywheel forward Chris Craft 283 marine engine uh, from the uh, early to late 60s. And uh, my attempt here is that I know this has been done many, many times by people, um, but when I went to do this, um, couldn't find anything online as far as uh, as far as videos, and it's not it's not terribly difficult, but there are definite nuances that uh, I think people will find this video helpful um, when doing this. And uh, basically, this is a, a flywheel forward, which is means the engine is turned around as your normal orientation would be in a car or a later marine engine. And I want to focus on just the nuances of, of how to build this up as a, uh, a look-alike with a 350 uh, block, 350 long, long block. Um, I'm not going to get into any technical details about building or assembling a small block Chevy. Uh, there's tons of videos on that. Um, my Vintage Iron on YouTube is a great one uh, to, uh, to watch and learn from. Um, but uh, if I focus on these nuances, then I think uh, a lot of people, if you're, if you're generally handy with a wrench, uh, you could do this with the help of the appropriate vendors uh, for parts um, and, uh, and seeking you know, uh, knowledge base from, from other knowledgeable people. Um, as far as Chris Craft Parts, I highly recommend chris-craft-parts.com. That's Robert Hinkle, uh, tremendous resource, has been in the hobby for decades. Um, and uh, that's where uh, most of my parts have come from, uh, if they're not just a kind of a standard run of the mill, uh, small block Chevy type part. Um, so we're gonna take it away and we're gonna assume, we're gonna assume that you have a core engine or that you can get the core parts, uh, i.e. everything, everything but a long block, a small block, Chevy long block assembly. And, uh, and we're gonna start uh, at the bottom, which we're basically looking at here is, uh, I chose to go with a uh, Michigan Motors uh, GM 350 replacement marine long block assembly. Um, they have some of these engines left. I don't know what the availability in the future will be. Um, but basically you're looking for an earlier generation block. Uh, I believe it's like 19, 1967 to 90, 1995, something in that range. Uh, you definitely need the early block with a two-piece rear main seal. And uh, that's necessary because of the Chris Craft conversion parts. Um, and we're gonna kind of walk through some of these nuances of this block and how it differs from the original 283 block. Um, and, uh, and then we're gonna talk first about um, how to deal with the uh, oil pump and the remote oil, uh, oil sump uh, that Chris Craft converted. Uh, we'll talk about that and, uh, and then we'll go on to talk about other, other nuances of the heads and, and so forth in, in, this, in this series. I'm gonna do multiple parts here as I go. Uh, I'm actually building up a twin engine set. This is the reverse rotation with, uh, obviously you can see there, a gear set rather than a chain drive. So this turns the camshaft in the opposite direction. Um, Michigan Motors sets this up for you if you can order a standard rotation and a uh, reverse rotation. For an extra charge, they put in the reverse rotation cam and the gear set and change the pistons and everything like that. So, um, and just, just a sidebar, you know, I'm not a professional builder. Um, I'm a wrench turner and I've done this several times over the years. Uh, but when it comes to the real technical stuff of actually doing a full assembly, I let that uh, go to the professionals at uh, my machine shop and I basically uh, assemble the larger components, which I think is a lot of fun and it takes some of the stress out of it and worry uh, that, uh, that you're doing some of this stuff wrong. Um, and, uh, but if you're knowledgeable about doing that, you could do this 
straight up from a scratch block and do it any way you want. Now you could do this in a 327, you could do it in a 305, whatever, you know, you could make a 383 out of this. All the, all the principles are the same as long as you have the correct original or early version block with a two-piece rear main seal. And uh, so in this example, <clears throat> excuse me, we're specifically looking at a 350 um, and um, we're looking at a HF7 transmission. Doesn't really matter whether this is gonna be a manual box conversion, as you'll see, or a hydraulic uh, transmission and which, which version, whether it's a velvet drive or a Paragon or uh, you know, different types of models of Paragon. Um, all of that is going to be applicable to this um, in general. So I uh, hope you'll uh, enjoy this and uh, that it'll get some good uh, benefits.